And now, love, Ruby Valentine. Written by Lori Friedman. Illustrated by Lynn Avril Cravath. Deep in the heart of Heartland, in a house of oak and pine, with her feathered friend named Lovebird, lived Ruby Valentine. Now Ruby had a favorite day, and Valentine's was it. According to all who knew her, this day was a perfect fit. Ruby loved to say, I love you, and she loved to say, Be mine, and she loved to sign her hearts and cards, Love, Ruby Valentine. Valentine's was Ruby's chance to do what she loved best. As the special day drew closer, Ruby would not stop to rest. With five days until Valentine's, Ruby started making cards. She and Lovebird sprinkled glitter. They curled ribbons by the yards. With four days down and counting, Ruby and Lovebird began to bake. They cut out heart-shaped cookies. They iced a heart-shaped cake. They never left the kitchen, with only three days more to go. Ruby and Lovebird filled up goodie bags and tied each one with a bow. With just two days remaining, they worked morning, noon, and night, signing cards and wrapping gifts until each package was just right. With Valentine's one day away, Ruby carefully checked her list. Then she loaded up her wagon. No one in Heartland would be missed. The night before Valentine's Day, Ruby chose what she would wear. She tried on her purse and shoes. She washed and curled her hair. When everything was in order, Ruby made a special sign. It sat high atop her wagon and read, Love, Ruby Valentine. Tired from all her hard work, Ruby lay down on her bed. She hadn't planned to stay long, just to picture the day ahead. But when she closed her eyes, Lovebird scarcely made a peep. She snuggled up next to Ruby, and they both fell fast asleep. They slept right through the morning, and on into afternoon. They slept right past the evening. They never saw the moon. And when they finally awoke, Ruby saw with dread the date. That was when she realized she was very, very late. I can't believe I missed Valentine's. Now I'll have to wait a year to tell everyone I love them. Ruby wiped away a tear. She slowly picked up cards and started putting gifts away. When, in a squeaky voice, Lovebird said, Let's go today! Ruby looked at Lovebird. Folks won't like this one bit. It's the 15th, not the 14th. They're sure to pitch a fit. But Lovebird kept on squawking, so Ruby made a choice. All we can do is try it, she said in a tiny voice. So she straightened up her wagon and tried hard not to frown. With Lovebird on her shoulder, Ruby slowly walked through town. She delivered cards and candy. She passed cookies from a tray. She gave out gifts and goodie bags to all the townspeople that day. Then she summoned up her courage and did what she had to do. I know I'm so, so late, she cried, but I'm so, so sorry, too. What happened next surprised her. No one seemed to mind. They just thanked and hugged her for being sweet and kind. You've made today a celebration. So why should we protest? Hip hip hooray for Ruby. We think you're the very best. And that's when Ruby realized that saying, I love you, doesn't have to wait till Valentine's. Any day will do. So now she sends out cards all year that say, Will you be mine? And she signs each and every one. Love, Ruby Valentine.